To solidify its prestigious status in the West, in 1163, Paris gives itself a monument of enormous proportions, Notre Dame Cathedral. Initiated by Bishop Maurice de Sully, the construction of Notre Dame Cathedral will take nearly two centuries. On the Ile de la Cité, the streets are so dense that in order to accommodate the new structure, two religious buildings have to be demolished, including the Carolingian Basilica, dating back to the dynasty that reigned between the 8th and 10th centuries. During construction, the Roman cathedral, built between the 10th and 12th centuries, is used as a place of worship. On this unprecedented project, teams of master craftsmen, laborers, and apprentices work night and day for the glory of the Virgin Mary, from whom the cathedral takes its name. Four daily construction shifts dictate the rhythm of life for six generations of Parisians. Over their lifetimes, they will witness the construction of the choir, the naves, the aisles, the galleries, and the facades. They develop a deep appreciation for the ribbed vault and keystone, the pointed arch and flying buttress. The capital sees the birth and perfection of Gothic art in successive stages, from early to high, then Rionon. This architectural style places heavy emphasis on volume, verticality, and clarity. Never has any work evoked such fervor. Each challenge is met and masterfully overcome. The builders achieve true technical prowess, erecting remarkably thin walls over dizzying heights. Two colossal towers balance the structure. Notre Dame now has a lighter silhouette, as if her arms are reaching toward heaven itself. To perfect the cathedral, the architects dress her with an ornate facade, colonnades and windows, including a central rose window 40 meters in diameter, a gallery of kings, and three portals. The main door to the cathedral opens onto Rue Neuve Notre Dame, at six to seven meters wide, it was a massive boulevard for its time. The cathedral is finally ready to welcome thousands of pilgrims. Notre Dame becomes the site of the grandest religious ceremonies in Parisian history. For centuries, it is the only Parisian monument that can be seen from over the horizon.